I'm just going to apologize in advance for my camera because it doesn't have very good focus abilities. Uh, I'm just kind of grabbing my digital camera off the shelf and uh, making a vi quick video of this. Uh, this is a $1 pedometer from the Dollar Tree, which I have hacked into something resembling just a simple counter uh, with the hopes of creating a very cheap pickup winding counter uh, out of this $1 uh, brand new piece of equipment. Uh, when you buy these, and I, again, it seems like Dollar Tree has no shortage of these things on the shelves, at least near me, there's a little uh, seesaw that goes up and down and, and shorts out a switch down here. It's all removable just by removing these four screws, pulling the back off, and just tossing those guts. You don't need them at all for the pedometer. You can see I've also dremeled out uh, the bottom of the pedometer to get access to the circuit board because... The way this is put together, it's all press fit. The LCD uh, has to be mounted in the case to function. Uh, so far, I haven't figured out any other way to do it. So I had to put it all back together. So I dremeled out the bottom of this. And very simple circuit, um, as you might expect from a dollar pedometer. There are two points that, when they're shorted by that seesaw mechanism in the back, start counting up. And I've got my little alligator clip wired up. What you'll see is when I press this point and release it counts uh, if I actually make contact that would be good when I press this point and release it counts up and it seems to be able to count relatively quickly if I'm making accurate contact with the point of course sometimes it counts double and I think it's just because I'm I'm using an alligator clip with without much accuracy here but if I use some kind of switch to detect a cycle or a revolution I think this could make a pretty good counter so this is one possibility uh, for a pickup winding counter. I'm going to be experimenting with this when I start working on my own machine here because uh, I want to start getting into winding at some point in the near future. Um, anyway, so that's just kind of neat. It's $1 plus tax. Uh, kind of fun to drum out this plastic here. Uh, it does auto time out. The only thing you need to do is in, avoid this button. That's just the reset switch. It resets the entire count if you press it I meant to show you when you press the button sorry uh, it does reset the counter but if you just make again contact from those two points if it's in sleep mode it wakes up and remembers what uh, what count you had before the wake-up point so like I said this looks like a nice cheap very very easy possibility about five minutes with a screwdriver and two minutes with a Dremel and you've got a possible uh, pickup winder count device to use with whatever switch you have around on your winder. So anyway, 